pandemic continues to impact air travel, especially at Gerald R. Ford International Airport. As 13 on your side's John Hogan explains, even though airports are receiving federal relief money, they continue to struggle. The airport, as you can see, is practically deserted, and that lack of revenue, well, that's problematic moving forward. It's, it's pretty sad when you're walking around the airport right now, you know, places are closed. For the month of March, passenger volume was down 44%. For April, it's looking even worse. Probably going to be a d down about 90%. And it's not just Grand Rapids. We're not the only airport experiencing this. It's happening in the big hubs. It's happening in smaller cities. The Federal CARES Act is providing $256 million to Michigan airports. Grand Rapids will receive $16.2 million. It will be used for debt relief, construction, and expenses directly related to the coronavirus pandemic. You know, having to have extra supplies with hand sanitizers and cleaning efforts. We've hired um, Enviromasters to come in and do deep cleans throughout the airport. Every little bit helps. Our airport is not taxpayer funded, so our revenue really comes from, from people spending money in the airport, whether that's shopping, dining, or parking. Tara Hernandez has been the airport's marketing and communications director for seven years. She too is a victim of the pandemic. Her department is being outsourced. This is her last full week. I know me personally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this place. It's been a great run, but also, um, you know, a reality in our current environment. During normal times, the airport offers more than 140 nonstop flights a day to some three dozen destinations. At the Gerald R. Ford International Airport, John Hogan, 13 on your side.